If you live an active life, or at least see people on a regular basis, which I'm sure all of us do, then you know that it's important to take time to listen to other people. You can listen to their thoughts, their feelings, and their unique perspective on the world. The world is seen differently by every person, and I personally think that it is important that we take time every now and then to hear each other out and hear what um, other people have to say. That's why being an active listener is an important skill that can be used by everyone. Being an active listener takes three important steps. The first step is to pay attention. The next step is to show the speaker that you are paying attention. And the last step is to give and offer your feedback. I received this information from a site called MindTools.com. MindTools.com was created in 1996 in order to give professional career advice to the international world of um, job seekers and people that want to improve their job skills. So the first step to becoming a better active listener is to actually listen. So that means put down your phone, stop thinking about how hungry you are, and stop thinking about your favorite TV show, which may or may not be Orange is the New Black. To actually listen means to focus yourself, focus your mind, and really listen to the words that the speaker has to tell you. Give them your full attention and give them all ears. The next step to becoming a better active listener is to show the speaker that you are listening. You've probably heard this before. Um, give the speaker your eye contact, point your shoulders in the direction of the conversation, um, nod and smile, shake your head when called for, um, and also if the conversation calls for it, for example, um, in a sympathetic kind of conversation, uh, you can maybe show concern on your face or touch the speaker's hand uh, to show them that you're there if the conversation calls for it, like I said, <laughs> depending. Uh, to actually show the speaker that you're listening is the second step. And the last step and the final is to offer your feedback. When you're talking to someone, especially when they're sharing with you their opinion, uh, it's not always necessary to give your own opinion if it is different than the one being said. So offering your feedback doesn't necessarily mean to uh, tell the speaker your opinion. It means to show your support. You could say comments like, I can understand why you feel that way, or I'm sorry you feel that way. Uh, it's always appropriate to ask questions. You could clarify what is being said, or just ask any question out of curiosity. So the three main steps to become a better active listener is to first pay attention. The next is to show the speaker that you are paying attention and the last is to offer your feedback. Put these three steps together and I'm sure that you will continue down the road of becoming a better active listener. Um, I hope you can apply these lessons in your professional world at home or even walking down the street talking to just about anyone because just about anyone does have their own opinion to offer. Thank you.